Hey everybody, it's Michael from both my channels, so Replica Air Guns and GetFitOver40.com. And generally when I get a new camera that I'm gonna be using in my videos, I like to share a little bit of information about it, do a quick review. This is by far going to be a full review. There's tons of excellent reviews on YouTube, going over all the camera features, going over the software on the phone, all the effects, all the features, all of those things. This camera is really loaded. It's an incredibly versatile camera. It's called the Insta360, and this is the 1R version. There's been previous versions that are a little bit different. They're more like specific 360 cameras. That would be the 360X and I believe the X2. But what's unique about the Insta360 1R is that it's a hybrid camera. So you can use it like I have it in this configuration here similar to a GoPro, so you see that, and it's modular, so I'll show you that in a bit. This has got this little housing that goes around it that actually has the mount, the mount for the, the tripod or whatever you're putting on them, the selfie stick, and it goes around it. You can get different actual um, mounts for it as well. There's other ones that have shoehorns and different things. There's a larger battery that you can get with a larger mount that you can get. There's all kinds of stuff you can get for it, but this right here is the 4K mod, so this little module here is the 4K, so it's more like a GoPro, your standard GoPro, wide angle screen, you know, 4K video, 60 frames per second. It's not 360, but if I wanna turn this into a 360 camera, what's really cool about this is I can simply take this apart. Okay, so I just pull the camera right out of the mount. So there's your mount, there's your camera, and now, now I can actually take it apart. So there's a little guy right here that lets me take this battery off. So here's your battery, okay? It comes off so you can have multiple batteries. And this is modular. So right now it's kind of in selfie mode, but I could turn this right around and put it like so that I'm actually gonna film, film in front of me and I can have a preview of the screen on there. I can put it this way, okay? And that would be for selfie mode. What's really cool though is this camera can become something else. It can become a 360 camera. So here we have the dual camera lenses. See how there's cameras on both sides and they're wide angle lenses. And all I gotta do is essentially put it together in a different configuration, okay? And now it is a selfie camera. Well, not sorry, a 360 camera. Okay, so you see how you have this 360 lenses on both sides and then you've got your screen there can turn it on. All right, so we have the back side there, but it doesn't matter, it's filming in all directions. And I'm gonna show you some samples, probably right now, I'll just talk them through just quickly. So the first sample I'll show you is just the 4K mod. <clears throat> so what that does is I can just go out and do your 4K video, and I have it in selfie mode, so I have it pointing towards me, and I'm just doing some running around in my field. Uh, walking around, running around, just to show you the stabilization because it has excellent stabilization. And that's your traditional camera that you can use for either walking around, shooting selfie stuff, or if you want, you can shoot you know, front in front of you and shoot action stuff that way as well. Uh, you can use a selfie stick, this 360, uh, Insta360 selfie stick like I have here, and wow. that will get um, you know as far out as you want, all of those things. So I'll show you that video right now. All right, so I've got my 4K mod on the camera, and so what we're doing here is we're just gonna do a little bit of walking in the field. I have this in 4K, 60 frame, and this is gonna be uh, with the flow state on, so it should have some stabilization. I'm walking right now. It might not be as good as a 360, but decent for, I think, normal stuff. You know, really intense action, probably not good enough, but we'll do a little running, see what happens. All right, so that's pretty much it. Just wanted to try that out and see what it looks like. Um, this is 60 frame 4K again with the 4K mod and with flow state on and the camera's just on a little monopod here, a little selfie stick type thing pointed at me. All right, let's see what it looks like. And then what's really cool is, as you see, we have the 360 lens on here instead of the 4K lens. So that first video I just showed you was the 4K lens. This is a five, I think, believe it's 5.3 or maybe it's 5.7, I can't remember exactly, but it's a higher resolution video. So it captures high resolution video in 360. And I'm gonna show you a video of me doing a very similar walk around 
walking in the field using this lens. And uh, also what I'm gonna be doing is, you know, using the selfie stick a couple different ways just to show you how you can use the selfie stick. Now I'm just gonna be having it like viewing on me so you can see it viewed on me and sort of doing the selfie kind of idea, but using the 360 stick. So you can see how you can see a lot further field of view and you can move the camera around a little bit while you're doing that, reposition it when you edit it. So I'll show you that video right now. All right, this is me with the lens pointed kind of at me and I'm just gonna kind of run in 360 mode. I got my dogs behind me there, or in front of me actually. Um, the camera's actually meant to be pointed slightly different when you're doing action to get the 360 thing, but I'm kind of doing this a little bit like a selfie thing so that the lens is pointed straight at me so I won't get much of a stitching effect at all. And this is the, obviously the microphone for the camera and I'm just walking in my field just to get an idea. I'm gonna do a quick little run just so you can see what the action camera's like. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the selfie stick straight out, so I'm gonna actually like point it away from me, but I can adjust the, um, the field of view or the actual cropping of the uh, camera to make it look like it's basically pointing at me again. So I'm gonna drop it down, and there we go. And so it puts it further away, and we might have a stitching line kind of going down the middle, but you can see the selfie stick is gone. It's actually, I'm pointing the camera away. Let's run a little bit. Kind of neat. All right, and this is with the 360 camera. Pretty cool. Now, I also wanna show you a way that I'm going to be using this camera, hopefully, for my Airgun videos, which is inside the C-Can when I shoot field test shooting videos for the Replica Airguns channel. And I'm gonna set up this camera with the 360 mod on it, and I'm gonna, Essentially, I'm gonna just be able to use it and pan around the room like I've almost got my own videographer following the action. So I'll just show you a quick video there of kind of how I'm gonna use this camera to track me in a couple different ways. So all the first video will be me like actually set up in the shooting range and show you how I can pan from, you know, sh basically a close-up video of me shooting the gun potentially and then walking up to the target and then back. And then I'm gonna, sh gonna show you another video where I'm sitting in my office and how I can move the camera around and zoom and pan it uh, literally after the fact. So the camera's shooting everything and then I can decide where I want the camera pointed and how zoomed in or zoomed out I want it to be. So I'll show you those two videos now. So we are recording. And let's go just uh, take a look. So if I do this and I walk down, pretty cool. And then I come back. Pretty neat. Go back here, and uh, let's um, let's stop it. All right, let's, let's try this. Again. To look to the left, or to look to the right. To edit a standing talk shot, the first thing I'm going to do is position myself in the middle of the frame, and add. You're in the you're in the frame anyway. Pardon? You'll be in the frame anyway. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 get over here. Yeah. Bailey, leave it. She's friendly. Oh, like She's usually that. friendly. Leave it a bit of a goose. Okay, come on, come on, leave it. Bailey, leave Monty, it. come on. No, no. Come on, buddy. Good no. boy. Come on, Monty. Monty, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Come on. Come on. All right, so next I'm actually gonna turn it on and we're going to do just a real quick 360 camera view. So while I'm talking right now, 
the camera has started to record. Yes, it's recording and I can move around and you can see how I'm going to have it track me and you can literally see everywhere that I'm going, what I'm doing, right? Doesn't matter where I am, if I'm over here, if I'm over here, right? If I'm up above the camera, you can see my other camera. Really cool. So this is just, I just put it on a little tripod as you can see, and we're just recording video. So I can literally put this camera anywhere and, and decide what I wanna point the camera on later um, in terms of shooting action. Doesn't matter where it's pointed, it's gonna get everything. So this is gonna be a really versatile camera that I'll be able to use for a lot of different situations in a lot of different ways. And I didn't go into a lot of detail with the actual, um, the actual app and what it can do, but there's so much that it can do with special effects and just really cool ways you can put your videos together. It's absolutely insane. So you need to go to their website, Insta360, their website.com and check out all the cool features that this camera has. And the fact that it's modular, you can actually add different things onto it. There's another lens that is a one uh, inch sensor lens for really high resolution. Well, it's, yeah, it'll do, I believe 5.3K um, up to, I believe 60 frame. And it'll even do, um, uh, you know, one inch, really low light kind of video, all that kind of stuff. And who knows what the future holds because it's a modular camera. There may be other lenses down the road, maybe um, maybe virtual 3D cameras, different things like that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on all my other Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those other channels. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.